Okay guys, so now we've got our position, or welcome back to the fragment series. Now we've got our position in the actual uh, activity and it's ready to go. What we're going to do now is, we're going, to pa we're going to process that activity. But the first thing we need to do is we need to test if the frame is there or not. So if we go to our main activity XML and we go to Nexus 7 and we go to landscape, and it's wriggly piggly here, I'll zoom out a bit. We can see that we have this frame, this in info frame. We need to test if that's frame there because we can't test for orientation if you think about it. Because if we test for orientation, what happens if it's on a phone and it's sideways? If it's sideways on a phone, it won't work because it'll, there's no sideways for a phone. There's no landscape view for a phone. We'll only have the standard main activity. This won't be found. It'll be null. It'll give null point or exceptions on one particular device and those can be hard to get rid of. So what we need to do is we need some kind of test. So we're going to create a boolean and it's going to be called boole uh, boolean and it's going to be called dual pane. Okay. And booleans are false by default. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find a view by id and we're going to find or dot id dot info frame. Okay. And I really should have a frame layout. Frame layout frame info frame Okay. So that's that. We've got our info frame. Now how do we test if this here is ready? So we're gonna say dual pane pane is equal to and we're gonna put in brackets is equal to info frame if info frame is not equal to null, okay? It is not equal to null. So therefore, if it, uh, yeah. So if it's equal to null, that means the view wasn't actually there, it couldn't find the view. Therefore, it's null, therefore we're not in a dual pane layout. So if it's not equal to null, it's equal to something else, it means we found a view. But that's not foolproof because the view could be hidden behind uh, another activity or something. You can get funny things like that happening. So we put in our two uh, our ampersand symbols to say and in this info frame dot get visibility and that's double equals n. So the visibility of it is equal to view dot visible. So that actually tests if the view is visible. Okay, so is the view visible? And if it is visible, then it gets the visibility. So I would say, okay, that is a visible layout that can be modified or can have stuff done to it. Let's go with that. So we've got our dual pane, okay? So down here, we're gonna say if dual pane. So if it's a dual pane layout, what do we do? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to swap out the fragment. So it's like, actually, you know what would be a better idea? If we just move this up here as well as a global as a class thing. So we can say that info frame there, okay? So if dual pane, we need to create a fragment transition. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a fragment transition quickly, and then we're going to um, put the new fragment into the new activity, into the uh, frame layout, okay? So what we're actually going to do here, I've actually been referencing these documents here and I just need to find the uh, fragment transition code. There we go. I'm just going to copy and paste this because I'm lazy. But essentially what we're going to do here is um, we're just creating, a fr actually you know what, we'll move this into here. Okay. And somehow I managed to hit backspace there. So we're just gonna, this kind of code here is just code that you, I, 
I just like having next to me. So first of all, we need to get our fragment. So we're gonna say fragment. And we're gonna say element details, or detail, yeah, element details, okay? So fragment element details equals new element details fragment. We could say new fragment, but we're gonna say this. It doesn't matter, These, don't forget this has all been polymorphed. Okay, I've actually made a mistake there. I've imported fragment, you have to import it from the Android v support v4 app, okay? Okay, so now we've got that. So we've got our fragment, okay? We've, we've got our fragment and it's ready to go. Actually, we'll put this in here, okay? So our fragment is now ready to go in the actual, uh, yeah, so our fragment's ready for the transition. Dot, and then we go info frame. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna replace anything inside info frame, the info frame here, with the fragment. So then if there's a new fragment in there and we tap a different one, it'll get rid of the old one and load up the new one. The add to back stack null, what this actually does here is add to back stack will uh, add that fragment to the back stack. So what will happen is let's say we uh, click, you know, hydrogen and its information comes up. And then we click radium and its information comes up. If we press the back button, it'll go back to the last fragment clicked. So you can get rid of that line add to back stack if you don't want to be able to do that and the back button just gets back out of the activity straight away. So that's that, that's all done. Now the problem is the details fragment or the element details doesn't know which element has been clicked. We've just set it in there. And if we look at the element details uh, fragment XML file is just a text view. So it doesn't know what to do. It's just like, mm -hmm. what do I do? So we have to pass in a new method okay so what we're going to do is we're going to pass in or we're going to set pass in arguments into this and then you actually set arguments so i believe you need to create a bundle bundle uh inf or element element equals new bundle i believe you say Okay, so we've got a new bundle ready. Okay, and then bund our element dot put, and what we're going to do is we're going to put our int in here. Okay, put integer, or we're going to call this position. So the key, our our string key is the position, and then the value is position. So we can actually we're going to package up the information, anything we need into into a bundle. And then we're going to store that bundle and then we're going to pass that bundle into the fragment and then the fragment can do whatever it needs to with it so we're going to say element details dot set arguments and we're going to pass in the element bundle so now we've actually passed in the arguments so we've set some arguments we've passed the bundle into it now, one thing you cannot do in Android is we cannot create a constructor for fragments or activities. They have to have empty constructors or the default. So we have um, the default constructor is just the public one without any things passed to it. So our fragment now has the information. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say ele uh, element details fragment. And we're going to, you know, view is ready here. So we're going to get text view. equal our text view and we'll just say uh, text equals view dot find view by id or dot id dot details text I believe it's called if I just go here to my element details fragment yeah it's called details text okay so I've got a text view and we actually need to cast this over here otherwise we don't get anything okay so we've got that ready to go text ready to go so now what we need to do is we need to get arguments. So we're going to say this dot get arguments. Okay, and we're going to make our bundle. 
info. So what we have here now is we have a bundle called info, or uh, we'll just call it element actually. Equals this to get arguments. So we've got our arguments ready, and then we're going to get element, or we're going to say uh, int position equals element dot get int and the key remember was position so our key string is position so what this has done is this essentially gets the back gets the bundle of information because you can bundle up strings string arrays you can bundle up data all kinds of cool things and then we're going to pull that uh, int back out of the bundle And now we're going to, sorry, I'm tired. Now we're going to um, get our string array. Element details equals this. Oh no, we have to remember, we have to have the context of the activity. Get resources dot get string array and then it's or dot array dot elements info array. A little bit long, but now we've got our array of element details loaded up, and then we just say uh, text view our text dot set text. And we're going to say element details at position. So do you see what's happened? Essentially what we did with the main activity was we created the new fragment, passed in the arguments out of the position, and now we're getting the element details out of that other array and pulling it in. So it doesn't matter what one we click, that will always pull in the correct information, or it should. And then we uh, get the transit, make a fragment transition object, and then we transition the fragment into the layout, ready to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start, and we're going to run this app and see if it works. And then in the next video, we're going to go over the uh, creating the new activity and loading it into it as well. And that's actually very quick and easy. Okay, so if we click here, magnesium. There we go. All the information about magnesium comes up. So, and there we go. So it's element number 12. Now we could say atomic number, blah, 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 blah. I'm just doing this quick and dirty method to show you guys, but you can process this information in the future. So it's element, its atomic weight is 24.305, magnesium, MG. I don't know what the other, a lot of these other elements here, that's the atomic orbital configuration and various things. Boiling point, melting point. We've got everything. So that's passing in the argument. Now, if the uh, now if we actually go control F11, the activity reloads. We've only got the list here. We click one. It doesn't say anything. Nothing happens because our uh, thing has tested for dual pane. So next video will implement the uh, new activity and then we will uh, get that finished up in the next video. So just show me two more videos. Remember guys to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.